Welcome back to the, hopefully it'll be the last part uh, for painting. Uh, now we're going to paste everything over. What I've done is reopen the Fuselage Master. I'm going to flatten this entire thing. Hit OK. So this will be completely flattened. And we can start to cut it up and send it off. We're going to turn on Snap. So go to View and turn on Snap. What that is is it makes your selection snap to your guidelines. And uh, we're going to go ahead and flatten the tail texture as well. So that's done. We're going to open up fuselage one, two, and three. So there we go. Fuselage one, double check. The alpha is already there. We don't have to worry about it. So we go here, and we're going to go ahead and let it snap that texture in. Copy it, fuselage one, paste it in. As you see, my parts were a little bit different from what I had before, but different is better. That's the way I see it. Good deal. Layer, flatten, file, save. Done with that one. Now, go ahead and do a new selection here because you have snap turned on it'll make it nice and easy for you in theory again they always say in theory copy this this will be fuselage 2 paste that in good layer flatten file save get rid of that and last but not least slash three. Copy and paste it in. Flatten. File and save. Alright. The tail texture is already loaded. It should already have the alpha. Good deal. So we're already done there. Um, we can go ahead and just, we're going to go ahead and save this one as, because we don't want to mess up the layers on this one, the tail texture. Um, we don't want to save it as a flattened PSD. What we're going to save this as is a Targa, since it's already flattened, already has an alpha texture. 32-bit Targa. And we're going to close this master out. We don't need it. Do not save it because it's flattened. Remember, don't do that. Save yourself a heart attack. Okay, I made a few mistakes uh, and through the magic of editing. You didn't get to see those mistakes. So I'll make a short rundown of what you need to do now. Uh, we need to go into uh, Flight Simulator X, Sim Objects, Airplanes folder. Go into your PMDG 700 NGX winglet folder. And uh, you can either copy theirs or copy... All you're doing is dragging it down, making a copy, and uh, just rename it. I renamed mine to texture.alaska. Now within here is um, all your texture folders or texture files that we're going to be editing. I also went ahead and reopened all of our Fuselage 1, 2, and 3 PSDs and saved them as 32-bit target files. So we're going to take all of our targets that we've made, include, include the tail earlier in the last part, or just right before we cut into this bit here. I'm going to drag this over right there. So therefore we got them in here. So now all we got to do is we've got to open each one of these target files in uh, Image Tool. resize this so you can see it and uh, we're going to go ahead and open the rest of them as well just go file open inside the image tool and you can change this type here it's automatically in the wrap folder change this type here to target and we'll just open the other three get them all open at the same time all right in the right hand corner up here it has all the information for the texture that you're currently looking at this is a 4096 by 4096 32-bit alpha 
texture. No mint maps. Level one means there's no extras. And uh, so everything looks good. We're going to make these into DDS files, which is what Flight Simulator recognizes. Uh, so we go to File, Save As, and we're going to change this to DDS. We're going to find our tail texture. Left click on it. Get the file name, save. And yes, we're going to replace what's already there with our textures. And go file. Yep. And these are big, so you gotta drag them over and close them. File, save as. Let's do the same thing here. This is fuselage three. We'll do this for all four textures that we edited. Fuselage two. As you can see, PMDG have combined so much that it makes it a whole lot easier. We we're only editing technically, majorly editing four textures to make an aircraft work. Okay, so fuselage one, two, three, and the tail is done. They are our textures. So all that's left now is to um, open it up in Flight Simulator and have a look at it. So while we're before we do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and I copied their INI file from their Alaska because it has the settings that you're going to need uh, that Alaska uses for their cockpit. I don't know how they find that info out, but they did. So I'm just, all I did was just change it to 624 AS, which is what we're flying with. I'm going to open up this VCN number of theirs uh, into Photoshop and we're going to change it to our. Uh, in 64 AS because it should be there still so once that opens up you'll see what I'm talking about yeah 612 AS that's that's the PMDG one so we need to we're gonna open up ours here eventually there we go 624 AS Okay, the best way to do this to get this over to the alpha is just to uh, copy it over to your alpha and we'll just paste it in and uh, uh, do an inverse selection. Oop, sorry. Don't inverse select it, just move it into place, line the end up with the end that's underneath it. There we go. Now select inverse. You just want to color it, color it black. There we go. Sixty-four AS. Good. File. Save as. Actually, sorry, we gotta let it flatten it first. Now file. Save as. Target. Good. So we are going to cut that out of there, paste it over here, and so it as DDS file, in number. Alright, now when we come back we're going to check it out in the sim and see if all of our hard work paid off. And welcome back. All right, so we have that made. I forgot to do one last thing before we ended that last little episode there. Um, what we need to do is need to copy the open up the aircraft config so that our aircraft will show up. Double space it in there. Last one is flight sim three, so this will be flight sim four. Alaska, you gotta change it. We're gonna change something on it here so it'll actually show up. We're just gonna call it Alaska Toot. Texture folder we created was Alaska 624. And Alaska Toot. Save as. Okay, so our aircraft is ready to show up. So we can go in here and get rid of our target files. 
I will tell you, you don't want to get rid of, oh, I forgot we got to convert that one over. Oh, we already did that. Okay. Um, you don't want to get rid of these target files until you're you're done aligning your belly with your fuselage and all that kind of stuff. I'm only getting rid of them because I'm done with mine. So that when you package this paint, you when you package this paint to give out to other people, you just don't want to have those target files in there. So now we're ready to open up Flight Simulator X. And um, have a look at our plane. So when we come back, we will be within the simulator.